I just cleared all my memory cards and sis is feeling good and ready to travel and uber is going to go pick us up so i should probably go into my kitchen now to get ready but we are going to china yesterday i bought off jaw rub and conkin so all my stuff is in here and i'm seriously obsessed with this bag i am so excited for this trip i am very grateful to have the opportunity to travel we are going to china to visit my relatives and honestly i'm a little worried socially because i cannot speak chinese fluently i can understand my grandparents but they can't understand me so there's a little bit of a language barrier but I'm really gonna work hard to try to speak Chinese even though I won't be able to speak it as well as I want to because it's kind of embarrassing to go visit your grandparents you know and not be able to speak to them so I'm gonna try my best I really hope I didn't forget anything We have arrived at the airport and we had a nice conversation with our Uber driver. Every single time we're in an Uber, my dad like really chats it up with the driver. If you don't talk in an Uber ride, it just gets awkward. Michael's downloading as many games as he can get before we go to China. <laughs> and he's 16. Dad's finishing off some milk. <laughs> no. Dad just drank milk and then he drank orange juice right after. That's like the worst combination ever. Dad, did you throw up? Like. No, it's a yogurt production. So I told the airport I was 12 and they didn't believe me. So it turns out Michael's bag has like something inside of it. I have no clue what is going on over here. I've like not gone over, but this does not look very good. So Michael got pulled over by the um, airport people because he had too much candy in his bag and they didn't actually make him throw away the candy. They just tasted it to make sure it's okay and it tasted yummy so they didn't take it away stop yeah. lying to your audience wait they took it away dad said that they tasted it and it tasted yummy <laughs> do you believe that no, what happened they scanned it oh they scanned those candy Look. we're eating at stephanie so story time we were um in the line where like you put your stuff in little boxes and the airport lady says everyone 12 and under go through this specific lane and i'm like i'm 12 i start following her and she's like you're not 12 if you're not sure we're really out here living our best lives this looks so freaking good i'm watching kate my internet best friend and michael's yeah we're going to Washington first and then China. Michael, you're a very cute sleeper. I would start laughing as Michael was lying on me. So my shoulder was like shaking. It was just not a comfortable place to be. It was like a massage chair. Me and Michael have arrived on our new plane. So we are on our way to Beijing. And we're not gonna see our grandparents when we go to Beijing. It's just gonna be like to do like touristy things. And then we're gonna go to another location, which I forget the name of, and that's when we're gonna see our grandparents. I was asking my mom if she would fly to Hawaii with me, and she said, yeah. That's the plan for the future. So today is going to be 97 degrees in Beijing and I'm wearing a jean jacket and leggings. So please pray for me. I'm gonna change in the bathroom. I brought like the cutest outfits to China. So I'm so excited. When I travel, I just wanna go off. So I changed my fit cause the other one was making me really sweaty. So this top is from Brady Melville. My necklace is from Amazon. These shorts are from Lululemon. That's the summer outfit and I'm wearing the flip flops that I was wearing earlier. It's just, it's so hot here. This outfit doesn't cover much, but at the same time it's summer. so. It's it's okay. I'm like kind of scared to see relatives because whenever I see relatives or like my mom's friends, they always comment on our weight and like how we look. Really can't wait for that. We have arrived at our hotel and it's huge. It's so hot in China, so it's nice to get some cold air in such a big area. The symptoms of jet lag are really hitting me hard, which makes sense because the time difference is 12 hours. But like I'm sweating everywhere. I'm so grateful to just be in China, be able to travel, but China is definitely not one of my favorite places to go on like a vacation. If we didn't have relatives living in China, we probably wouldn't be traveling here. Michael, how are you not like dying? I think I just need some protein. I just need some meat. I'm so tired. It's not a good thing that I can't speak Chinese, but in China it really doesn't matter because they definitely follow by kind of a habit where the adults really just speak to the adults and children don't really have a say. Like children are very quiet, I feel like, which is why maybe a lot of Asians you know can seem like closed off. I think it's just because they're very disciplined. I can't really speak that much Chinese, but like I don't really need to because I don't really need to speak in general. In America, like parents will greet children and the adults and try to talk to the children, but it's definitely not 
like that in China. Children's words are valued a lot more in America than in China. I don't feel like super welcome, but it's okay. And you can totally tell I'm from America just because of my skin tone because I like to tan. And in China, if you are pale, that means you are wealthy. And if you are tan, that means you are not wealthy. I bought this originally for my Visco Girl video and wasn't gonna wear it more, but honestly, I really oh, like it. I just woke up and my uncle is here and more of our relatives and friends are coming. <laughs> Okay. Do you want to say hi to my vlog? Hi! Hi guys! Hi. Hello! Hi. This is my mom. Hello everyone! Oh, Long Tian! Long Tian! Dad, do you feel insulted that our uncle wants my last name to be Lee, not Long? He's a joke, he was Sure. So I never really explain why my sister isn't here with us. I actually have two siblings, not just my brother, but my sister is at Cornell Summer School, so she can't be here. So it's just me and my brother. I wish you the best, Chen, if you're watching this. Sorry if you feel left out. I don't understand what you're talking about. I like Annie Long. It's like my brand. Annie Long is a brand. One year, you can make one thousand dollars. You turn Annie Long, you don't make any money. It's a YouTuber. Bye. I literally want to pass out right now. I'm literally just gonna take a shower right away. I'm desperate. Oh, Michael, why so aggressive? I'll see you guys in the next one. Woke up at 4 a.m. just to see the flag go up, and it's not worth the hype. We are currently waiting at a bus stop, and our destination is the Great Wall of China. We've actually been there a few years ago, but we're going again. I don't really know why we're going again, but it's gonna be a lot of fitness and climbing. There's a Chinese sea. If you don't come to Great Wall, you are not a great man. That's why we come here to conquer this. We've already conquered it, though. No, we quit. <laughs> oh, okay, so last time we quit the wall, so because, this time uh, we're gonna do it, and we're gonna get it done. So we have just arrived at the Great Wall of China place, where you can like check in, buy stuff. I am so tired, I think I'm just gonna drink some water, because every time I'm tired and I drink some water, I have energy again. Whenever I'm in a car ride longer than like 20 minutes, I'll literally fall asleep. And we woke up at 4 a.m. today. Do you think that six hours of sleep was enough to like cure your jet lag? Cure, yeah. We got some food, got some hamburgers. We're just gonna eat when we're in line. My parents got some like noodles to call lamb pee. Liang pee. This is what my parents got. It looks so good. I'm gonna eat a little bit because it looks so good. To jiao liang pee. Liang pee. Look at that. Oh yes. This looks so freaking good. <laughs> Stop. I really want to travel the world. Lately, I've been so, like so much more interested in traveling. Me and my mom will fly to Hawaii next year. It's a plan. Hello. We really just lost our parents. I have no clue where they are. <laughs> Uh, swim, swim. <laughs> Dad, are you like uncomfortable or something? What is this positioning? Uh, try to pull off my hand. <laughs> hey, Michael. You don't know. I think Michael has a death wish. He's always doing dangerous things. Stop. You look like a big baby trying to fit in here. Big and rigid. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, my god, was that easy? Dude, perfect. 
Something really interesting about me and just Asians in general is that when I get tired, like white people, they like get dark circles here. I get it like in the corner of my eyes. I have some intense things happening in the corner of my eyes right now. Like I literally got like six hours of sleep and that was supposed to be my night to catch up on my like jet lag. We had to wake up at 4 a.m. to like watch the like sun rise as we were watching the flag go up. It wasn't that cool, but I mean, I'm glad we did something because my family, like we were so slow in travels. Like we never really get stuff done. We don't visit a ton of stuff. So I'm just glad that we did something in general. No matter how fun it is. Y'all know sis wants ice cream. Can you record me? You think you're that cool? Not open it. Oh my god. Uh, Michael, wait, Michael, stop. They don't even see that. What flavor is that? What flavor is that? It's a... Milk. Annie, what do you got there? Chocolate. It's pretty solid. I always love like the crunchy cones. I hate waffle cones. Let's hear that crunch. <laughs> Annie's so bad at eating ice cream. Her face is always. I bite it. No, but after your face is always covered with ice cream. <laughs> Wherever we go, my mom just has to get the weirdest flavor she can find. Mm. <laughs> Dad. What is the music thing for? Oh, she eats it. Shish. Yes, let's go. So the box of noodles cost 20 yuan, and 20 yuan is just about over three US dollars. To me, that's really cheap, and if you were born in America, that's really cheap in your opinion. But my parents grew up in China, so they can really tell what's inexpensive and what's overpriced. So when I look at things, I think they're really cheap. Like if I went to China alone and literally get ripped off, it's kind of weird to me to understand how much the currency can be different. When I'm spending money in China, it just feels so guilt-free because everything feels so cheap but just imagine growing up in China and then coming to America and everything will seem so expensive so we're out from our bus ride from back to Beijing and now we're in the city and we're waiting to be seated at this restaurant that provides duck my brother's eating some yogurt as well as my mom and my dad they're eating like the Why famous say that in the weirdest way what it provides duck this restaurant that Provide duck. It serves. I love how I just got this backpack and it's already starting to get dirty. Look at my mom's shoes. Like, what are those? She had to buy. She had to buy socks from a store because she was having blisters. It's so funny. She looks like a little girl. The long fam did good. We do not waste food. This is so humiliating. I really want the strawberries. It looks so good. Can we just get strawberry? I want strawberry. Not really, Tommy. Yeah, Tommy. Tommy. After coming back from China, I feel a lot more cultured now and I know how to pronounce things better. But just editing this and looking back at how I can't pronounce anything is really bothering me. I low key really want one of these. It's kind of aesthetic. <laughs> My mom wants me to buy this. Kind of funny. It looks like it's for an Asian drag queen. Exactly. My dad wants to buy those black shoes and like I'm trying to stop him. But... You know it's fashionable when it says fashion on it. Later in the night, we went to see this acrobatic show. It was actually really entertaining and I'm kind of inspired, not gonna lie. I'm so tired, but I'm always in the mood for shopping. I kind of want shoes, but all my money in my bank account is US dollars. This is a huge Adidas. Don't prefer the women's section. I can never find cute stuff here. Good night, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully my sleep is really good tonight because I do not want to be a moody butt tomorrow. I'm low-key so moody. Whenever we go to China, just something is off about me. I don't know. China is fun, but it's just not my place.